So when you're getting started with your LinkedIn profile, the first few things to consider is number one, your personal picture. This is the personal picture here, and this is the picture that shows up when someone searches for you or when they go onto your actual profile. It's really important that you have a nice clean picture, so not a selfie ideally, and a picture without other people in it. So plain background, if you would like, against a wall, eyes to the camera, smiling. That is enough. It doesn't have to be complicated, it doesn't have to be a photo shoot, just a picture that resembles you and looks professional. Then you have your name, and underneath that you have your title. Now you can choose your title. So this title and your name, that's what shows up in the search engines. If someone types your name into Google, for example, what will come up is your name and this title. And as I said, you can choose this title. So you can choose what that says about you. It might be graduate searching for a job in X, Y, or Z, or really interested in working or getting an internship in this, or blogger, whatever it is you're interested in, you can put there. So I've chosen to list a couple of different titles that caters to the type of audience that I have. So I have LinkedIn Power Profile Awarded Leader, uh, Personal Brand Consultant, Speaker, Influencer, Entrepreneur, CEO. And those are the key words that I use to really illustrate who I am. Then you have a section called the summary. So for me, this is like your online elevator pitch. This is your opportunity to talk about how wonderful you are and the things you're doing, the things you're interested in. You may choose to do this in the first person or in the third person, depending on how you feel about it. But doing it in the third person means you can say how wonderful you are without sounding like you're bragging about yourself. So that's a really great tip. As we go down the profile, there's a section called media, which is where you can link to other pages. It might be your personal website or a blog, or if you are featured in the local uh, newspaper or a university paper. Again, these are great ways for you to kind of really illustrate what you've been doing and where you've been doing it. As you go, go further down the page, there's a section called articles and activities. Every time you post on LinkedIn, there is um, an opportunity for you to see those posts and all of your activities here. So your articles, they're like blogs. They're something you post that's slightly longer um, and it remains on your page. And you can go back to it and you can have years and years of blogs on there. Whereas activity, that's more a sentence. It might be a quick quote or a statement. It doesn't have many characters and it's something that goes into the feed and eventually disappears from the feed. But you can really see it all here. You can see all the activity you've been doing. There's a section called experience. This is essentially your area, which is like an online CV, where you really talk about the jobs you've had, where you've worked, what your title was, the type of uh, length of time that you were there for, where you were based, and your key responsibilities. That's where you can bring each job to life and really talk about what you were doing there, why you were doing it, um, and any responsibilities that you had. And again, you can add media here. So I've listed everything I've done, uh, any job I've had, since leaving university, basically. So you can list as many as you like and really go into detail and show your evolution. Every role you have, you probably have learned something different or something new, and you can really add that there. Then you have a section called education, and that's where you would list what school you went to, what college or sixth form you attended, and what university you've gone to and what you studied. And again, it's a great opportunity for you to showcase your grades or what you've done during your time during education. Then there's a section called Featured Skills and Endorsements. Here you can list the skills that you think are most important to your profile and you can have other people endorse you for it. And basically endorse you means they agree. So if for example you say you're a very good leader, you're good at leadership, you can have other people also agree that you're good at leadership. And those endorsements really act as a way of really asserting your credibility and telling other people that you are as good as you say you are. So once you've uh, received endorsements for your various skills, there's another really important section that I think is more important than endorsements, which is the recommendations section. And this is where you can get recommendations from your teachers, friends, peers, ex-employers, people who provided work experience or internships. They really talk about what you were like when they worked with you. And I think this really brings your profile to life and gets someone else talking about how great you are. 
So I would really invest in getting some recommendations. And then there's a section called accomplishments. This is where you would list your awards, um, honours, any projects you've been involved in. And for me, I think uh, as a student, this is a great uh, position where you can really talk about your projects. Projects is a really great section because this allows you to highlight the things you've been doing whilst in education that is extracurricular or um, an additional item that you've worked on whilst at university, whilst doing your course. So this project section I think is great because it brings to life the things you're doing that are not work related or necessarily about jobs, but the things you've used or done to kind of contribute to society or your community or socially impact uh, the people around you. So that's a great way of really illustrating that too. And I really hope that's helpful. So remember, a good picture, a nice title that illustrates what you're doing, who you are, use your keywords that you think would resonate with the type of industry you want to go into, add people you meet, uh, preferably within 24 hours to start building your network and you can follow people as well on here. So people that may be of interest or influential, that's a great way of you really getting to know them and learn a bit more about them too. That's my brief overview of how to create a great LinkedIn profile. I really hope that helps.